Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Currants Kitchen. Well, I'm just popping up to remind you about Tracy Mann coming live on our page tonight. So Tracy Mann is a fabulous cake artist. Um, she's actually, uh, she actually paints direct to cake using uh, cocoa buttons and chocolate buttons. She's also a chocolatier as well. She's got a fabulous demonstration tonight. She's gonna to show you around her studio. She's gonna show you a simple design just to get you interested. Um, because I think once you watch her, you will absolutely love her. Now, Tracy also does online tutorials. Do pop over to her page afterwards. She'll tell you where to look. They're very, very reasonable. I think they start from 10 pounds for a tutorial, which is fantastic. How cheap is that? and uh, definitely keep you uh, occupied through these times. Um, some of you have already signed up to them because Tracy did a demo last Thursday for you and uh, I've already had a few ladies message me to say how fantastic they are. They've really, really loved them. And I was talking to a lady tonight who just can't wait to get started. So um, today I did a live on Cherry Bakewell Cupcakes. Um, oh, just by the way, we've got John in the kitchen. Hi, John. Hello, hi everyone. And he's remembered to unmute tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Never going to live that one down, are you, John? Am I? <laughs> Don't be winding me up. So today we did Cherry Bakewell cupcakes. So they weren't Cherry Bakewells. It was basically cupcakes using the Cherry Bakewell flavouring. And um, for those of you who didn't see, I put the whole range of sugars in the back there. Okay. So there you go, John. Just turn your phone off, please. So I don't know why you need to watch it. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> Well, that shut me up, hasn't it? It's not often I get shut up very quickly. I don't know why he has to turn it on while I'm oh, alive. Just to make, make sure that we're actually <laughs> on and everything's working. Okay, so this is our whole range of sugars here. I don't actually know how many bags there is here, but it's one of every flavour minus Cherry Bakewell because we used it this morning. Um, we also do a range of sprinkles. They're called Sprinkalicious. This is our own brand. So these are all suitable for vegetarians, vegans, all diets. We also um, own the Nifty Nozzle range, which is genuine Russian piping tips. And what I want to try and do is get through all the sugars. Um, so today we use Cherry Bakewell, fabulous. And we made these um, Cherry Bakewell cupcakes. So we had a really good viewing audience today. So I do hope you go and give them a go. Um, I did try and explain that you can actually do them with other things. So, you know, for the center, put uh, strawberry jam in and then on the top, uh, put a strawberry on the top. You could use lemon and put lemon curd in and on the top put one of those little jelly lemons in. Um, if you use Jaffa Twist, you could actually put a little chocolate orange on or a slice of chocolate orange. Um, I've actually just decorated these up just to give you some more ideas. I've used the sugar soft uh, flowers as well. And the other thing is I want to get them out of the kitchen. So tomorrow, these are going off to find new homes. Um, I've already rang people and delegated them to them. So uh, I shall find somebody who can drop them off for me tomorrow. Um, so, because we can't have them here, can we, John? No, no. definitely not. We're growing by the day. And um, talking of the sugar soft roses, okay, so I was just about to throw these in the box, in the bin, and um, something occurred to me, and I thought, oh, why am I throwing them away? So if any of you bought these, any of you bought these, um, and the roses and, and these, these have the daisies in, they come with two little trays inside. And I thought, any of you who are making your own roses or something like that, aren't they perfect little trays for setting them in? So I'm all about recycling. I do save lots of stuff, honestly. <laughs> I save that much stuff, you know, I'm beginning to look like a hoarder. So uh, when I'm not really, all I'm trying to do is try and find homes for things. But um, I just thought they would be great. And I thought, I wonder how many of you have just launched them in the bin? Because in the past I have. And um, I just thought if you are making flowers, then you can actually use these as trays or you can even use them as little paint trays. So when you're painting um, or even if whatever you're doing with Tracy tonight, if you just need to put some little storage bits in and stuff. So anyhow, I've got I've got a lady in mind. I've got two boxes of these and I think she'll be actually quite pleased to get them in her order tomorrow. I'll I will phone her first and just in case she thinks I'm sending her some rubbish. So, <laughs> so anyhow, I'm waffling, aren't I, John? Right. So eight o'clock, we're going live. As Pardon, as I do. Eight o'clock, we're going live on our page with Tracy Mann. Fantastic tutorial. Do look out for it. Do watch it. Do share it. It's going to be a great night. We had a great night down with Danielle last night. I'm sure Mark is in recovery at the moment. So I'm sure he's been told he's not having a drink tonight. But we're going to have a lovely night with uh, Tracy tonight. 
Um, tomorrow morning, I'm going to be in the kitchen. I'm doing a tear away cake, cupcakes or pull apart. I don't know what you want to call them. Uh, tear apart, are they? I don't know, whatever they are. Um, we're gonna make those in the morning. Um, we've also got one of our lives pre-recorded and um, going live at two o'clock. I noticed about 89, 90 of you watched the live this afternoon, my very first live session with John. And um, so well done for coming back and watching that. Um, I was actually watching it myself and uh, I can't believe how much how nervous I was, actually. Have I got better on the camera? You were better then. Was I? Yeah, following me around the kitchen. Oh, Who dear. thought he was better? If you watched it, did you not think he was better? <laughs> I did, because he was had to concentrate, didn't he, and follow me around the kitchen. So, um... Hello, Dinas. Yeah. So, um, we're going to be playing the next episode tomorrow at two o'clock. And then tomorrow night, we've got Anna Reginio. So, Anna Reginio is from... Oh, she is from Portugal. She's a fabulous cake artist. She's won at Cake International. And last summer she made this in our kitchen for us. Now we pre-recorded it in case she never got back to us. And as it happened, she never did get back to us, but we never actually found a slot to put it in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play that for you tomorrow. Um, because I think you will love it, absolutely love it. So that will go live at eight o'clock and I'll pop up again just before eight, just to remind you. So I think that is it. Is it John, anything else? No, we've got quite a few people watching. Yeah, so um, I saw so many of you make the Viennese swirls or whirls um, yesterday and they're still popping up today. Um, you know, like I say, beat the butter, beat the mix for a long time till it softens or add some more liquid. I personally add the liquid because it was very firm. If you make them too loose, don't worry, still pipe them out and get them in the fridge to firm back up again. They'll be absolutely fine. So don't worry about that, but don't bake them if you make them too loose. You do need to firm them back up again. And do have a go at, the, at these. They're so easy to make and great fun as well. And as I say, I've just used, I've used orange zest on here, cherry bakewell on here, and I actually used um, lime and raspberry on here. And in today's session, I also talked about how we don't have peeling cupcake cases. So if you do miss it, go back and have a watch. Um, otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy Tracy's live. Thank you, John. You can switch Yeah, up. thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Bye.